Yo, what's going on, everyone? Cruz here. Now, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be covering three future updates that's going to be coming within pet catchers that could possibly revive the game. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, the first update that I want to cover is going to be actually the next possible update that Isaac has been talking about in his Discord server, and that is going to be the trading hub. Yes, you guys heard that right. They're going to be creating and adding a their very own trading hub, which personally I think might make this game 20 times better. Now, a lot of people might be a little confused on, well, why do we need a trading hub? Well, the same argument can be said for Pet Simulator because, you know, Pet Simulator, we, don't, we didn't really need a trading hub at first, but then after we got it, I mean, that game just turned into a giant trading game, so it's kind of needed in any pet game that we play now. So within the next couple weeks, the next couple months, we should end up seeing an update called the Trading Hub, which if I had to guess would probably be somewhat similar to Pet Simulator where we'll have our own booths, but that hasn't really been discussed 100% yet. So it could be more kind of like Flee the Facility where you kind of just go to an area and you just trade with people. Again, nothing else other than them talking about it and the developer talking about it has been released yet. So we don't really know 100%. Now the next update that we will be getting, and this has been confirmed by Isaac, we will actually be getting a battle pass within the next update. Now we don't know if it's going to be like the Easter battle pass yet. For all of you guys that don't know, during the 2024 Easter event, they added a little pass. I think it went up to level 40 or level 50 where you could get multiple different rewards for 400 Robux. Now we don't know the price of it yet and we don't really know the rewards of it yet because it's pretty much just going to be its separate battle pass. It's not going to be really an event pass. So we don't know how many tiers we're gonna get. We don't know how many rewards we're gonna get and we don't really know what's going to be in the rewards. But if I had to guess, look forward to a bunch of prismatic eggs, a bunch of luck boosters and two, if not four, really, really good pets like they had in the Easter update. Alright guys, so the next update that I'm going to be covering is going to be the summer update. Now keep in mind, I want you guys to take this information with a grain of salt because this is currently just speculation. This is not 100% confirmed yet. But anyways, this summer sometime, we should end up seeing a summer event. Now I'm pretty sure it will be similar to the Easter event, but to, to an extent. Now let me explain. Now for all of you guys that are kind of like me and see the problem with the prismatic eggs in this game, you probably wouldn't want the Easter shop to come back because the Easter shop is kind of what caused the prismatic eggs to go into the thousands. But don't worry because Isaac said himself that if he ever makes a shop again, it is not going to be anything like the Easter shop because it kind of did mess with his game and kind of did mess with a lot with the game. So this update should end up adding a few summer type pets, possibly a couple new areas. Again, we're, it's only speculation, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but they'll probably have like a little mini area at least, or maybe a special game token. But yes, there will be multiple different types of pets. And if I had to assume, there will be a summer battle pass, kind of similar to the Easter battle pass. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If this video did help you guys out at all, please hit the like button commenting down below letting me know. I really hope these future updates will help Pet Catchers because Pet Catchers is one of my favorite Roblox games and I hate to see it die. So I really hope that it can come back from the dead because, you know, this game has so much potential. But anyways, guys, if you guys are out into the channel, please subscribe. Also, think about turning on post notifications and never miss a future upload. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.